Illinois is an economic hub in the Midwest. When it comes to real estate development, the city is the place to do it best. And if you're looking for a good neighborhood to move into in the close future, the 78th in Chicago is going to be the solid bet. Welcome to NextGen Gabby channel. If you're new here, I'm Gabby with NextGen Real Estate. I'm the expert all things real estate and Chicagoland. For more tips and tricks on investing in real estate, subscribe and get updated on our newest content. Today, I will discuss with you a new development in town, the 78th in Chicago. Now let's get down to business. Let's start with the 78th and its history. Navigating Chicago is a unique experience. The city currently has 77 community areas. These areas came from the mapping of two sociologists of the University of Chicago, Robert E. Park and Ernest Burgess. During the late 1920s, they grouped the neighborhoods and surrounding areas. Chicago added O'Hare in 1956 and Edgewater in 1980. The 78th is the latest and largest community to be developed in the city of Chicago. This mega development spans 62 acres and 13 million square feet. It seeks to transform a long unused land into masterfully planned mixed-use neighborhood. Specifically, this will take the vacant riverfront parcel between Chicago's South Loop and Chinatown. It will turn this area into a fine location with a vibrant mix of architectural design. It will be going towards sustainable, smart, and modern real estate development. For starters, the 78th is going to have commercial and residential district, wide open green spaces, and infrastructure advancements, especially for transportation. And for people saving up for homes, 20% of this community area will go into affordable housing. This $7.2 billion investment aims to redraw the city urban landscape in the same vein as the Hudson Yards in New York City and King's Cross in London. This is one of the ways Chicago seeks to renew itself through real estate. The 78th is developed by Related Midwest and master planned by Skidmore, Owings, and Merrill. Development began with community engagement between 2016 and 2019. This involved public meetings, stakeholder meetings, and black club meetings with more than 2,800 attendees. Zoning for the 78th was approved by Chicago Plan Commission in November of 2018 and by City Council in December 2018. A tax increment financing district and redevelopment agreement with Related Midwest was approved by the Community Development Commission in February 2019 and by the City Council in April of 2019. The City of Chicago, especially the Roosevelt Clark district also invested a lot for 78. 551 million goes to building new public infrastructure, such as 364 million to fund a new CTA Red Line subway station at 15th and Clark. $85 million to reline metro tracks through the site. 78 million towards improvement on Clark Street. 13 million for the extension of 15th Street. 10 million for the reconstruction of riverfront seawall. Related Midwest also will donate an acre of land for University of Illinois to construct the Discovery Partners Institute, a new research and innovation center focused on incubating startups. The 78th has so much to offer. This envisions the next great neighborhood for Chicagoans. Settling along with several vibrant, diverse communities of Chicago, such as South Loop, Chinatown, Pilsen, Little Italy, and Bronzeville. As a real estate agent, I will guide you through what to expect from the 78th as a potential place to work and live in. Housing, according to Related Midwest, the 78th will have 5,000 new apartments, 20% of which are going to be affordable and cater to lower income families. The 78th also seeks to foster a better learning environment. It combines the natural landscape with technological innovations. For one, residents and visitors can enjoy seven acre public park. 
The 78th will also be a hub akin to Silicon Valley through Discovery Partners Institute, a high-tech research center and incubator created by the University of Chicago, the University of Illinois, and Northwestern University. This research and tech network aims to serve 10,000 students every five years. The 78th boasts a booming job market with over 24,000 permanent jobs. It will generate net new spending of $40 billion over the next 30 years and raise the new annual city and state taxes revenue of more than $220 million. This includes a potential Amazon base in the future. Transportation. Related Midwest and City of Chicago aims to connect the 78th to other Chicago areas through new infrastructure. This strategy is for building a desirable hub for corporate and residential dwellers. The first of these infrastructures to build upon the 78th is Wells Wentworth Connector. This is a north south roadway that will connect Wells Street's South Loop dead end to Chinatown's Wentworth Avenue. This will also provide access through boats on the river, new inland waterways, a new subway stop, and the existing commuter railway. There will also be a second north-south road in the form of a new LaSalle Street running from the elevated level of Roosevelt down to 15th Street extension. To improve the railroad service, there will also be a new Chicago Transit Authority red line stop to serve Roosevelt and Shermack Chinatown stops and both O'Hare and Midway airports. Relocated Midway will also move the metro tracks away from Clark Street. The relocated metro tracks would be enclosed for improved air quality and reduced noise. It also builds a healthy commuting system with bike lanes and pedestrian friendly streets. Clark Street will transform into a more walkable urban street with active use. The 78 is deeply rooted in the Chicago River. Its waterway is an attractive amenity. Related Midwest will build a new river walk where seven acres of public parkland merge with five acres of unimpeded space along the south branch of Chicago River. Here residents and visitors will enjoy phenomenal riverfront views, year-round recreational opportunities, and beautiful amenities that celebrate culture and Illinois charm. The seven acre crescent shaped park will follow the path the river originally flowed before it was straightened in 1920. Within the building of the 28th will be the open space threads so people can enjoy the outdoors. At the edge of the Chicago River, the 78 will offer a hundred foot wide, half mile long river walk. Inside this related Midwest allots lanes for dining, jogging, biking, and waterside lingering. According to the Chicago Department of Transportation, CDOT, the Phase 1 and Phase 2 construction of Wells Wentworth Connection has been completed on April 13, 2021. The final phase of construction, including the opening of the road, is expected to be at the end of 2022. Industry experts concur that the 78 will take 10 to 20 years to finish. Despite COVID-19 crisis rocking the whole world, Related Midwest and the CDOT are hard at work with the development. Related is even recalibrating their designs to respond to shifting market conditions. All things said, the 78 is on track to be Chicago's next great community that will fill in the gap in Chicago's overall layout. There are a lot of exciting opportunities for real estate development. What do you think about 78? If you're a Chicago resident, let me know your impressions of this mega development in the comments below. Interested in real estate? Set a free consultation call with me in the link below. Thanks for watching and as always, where's your future?